Hi everyone, this is Jay Shree, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli. So in the previous uh, lecture series, uh, we discussed upon the elementary concepts uh, of electrical engineering. That is, um, in the first lecture, we just uh, discussed about electricity, what is electricity, where we get from electricity, what are, what are the sources of electricity, we discussed like that. In the um, second lecture, we discussed what is voltage, what is current, then what is resistance. Uh, so that is the uh, primary uh, concepts in electrical engineering we discussed. So in this today's video, we discuss upon the nature of current. What is the nature of current? Uh, nature, what are the different types of current, okay? So there are two types of current. So most power generated is uh, AC. Alternating current, AC, there are two types of currents. One is AC, second one is DC. Most of the appliances are working under AC, alternating current only. Uh, because this uh, supply is available is uh, AC. So commonly we are using for a single phase 230 voltage, this is supply for three phase 415 voltage. So these are, that is uh, the power generated in the generators in all the power stations are alternating current only so that uh, the power the supply available the electricity available is commonly available in india everywhere is ac so most uh, most of the system we are using ac voltage only so what is ac so most of the power generator is ac where the current and voltage varies sinusoidal with time it is varying it has both polarities so it has both the positive and negative polarity. It is alternating, it is changing. So uh, in uh, Indian uh, supply, if we take, it is 50 hertz supply. The frequency is 50 hertz. It means it attains 50 times positive maximum and 50 times negative maximum within a second. Imagine within a second, within one second, it attains 50 times positive and 50 times negative and it crosses zero also. So there are different types of waveforms. Common is sinusoidal waveform. So it is changing. Alternating current is, it is alters. It alters the polarity, it is changing. And second type of current is direct current, DC current. So DC power is constant, it is fixed. So DC current power does not vary with time. So it is a constant supply. If you take a 220 voltage DC, it is constant throughout. Uh, throughout the supply, it is uh, the time period, it is constant. Voltage does not change. So most uh, consumer products use both AC and DC. So see this um, graph. Uh, in this graph, uh, DC current is used. Um, this is DC. So the purple color, this represents a DC. It is a constant. DC current is, is used to power electronics mostly. Um, in parallel for electronics, uh, we use DC. In electronic, most of the electronic appliances, we use uh, 5 voltage, 5 voltage with DC. For that, uh, the regulators are used. Then batteries, where battery stores only DC voltage. So DC current is used in mobile applications. So, so that's why we are using that adapter and all. Uh, so uh, in electronics and uh, batteries, battery stores, uh, DC voltage. So in, then inverters convert DC into AC. So what we are using, uh, most of the houses everywhere we use uh, uninterrupted UPS. So that is in, uh, inverter, inverter box we are using. So UPS is for continuous power supply, we use uh, battery and inverter setup. Battery and inverter set setup combined uh, together we call it as it provides uninterrupted power supply to all the electrical appliances. So the inverters, it converts the, the DC voltage that is stored in battery into AC and it, and, and it supplies to all the electrical appliances in our home and everywhere uh, to all the utilities. So DC, so DC current is fixed. It is a constant voltage stored in batteries. Next, coming to AC. So AC current is easier to distribute. So in, uh, for uh, uh, the power, uh, the power generator in uh, generated in the generators power stations are to be transferred to the consumers, right? So for that, uh, AC is convenient to transport the power. 
just to hear uh, we can increase the voltage using transformers and also we can decrease the voltage using transformers so ac is um, if we increase the voltage means the current is uh, reduced and the losses are reduced can be minimized so ac is easier to distribute so ac is used for most machinery lights appliances power supply is uh, converts ac into dc uh, that is which more power supplies in, uh, in all the supply units uh, uh, there are a lot of supplies available uh, that converts ac into dc so that's all about uh, dc current and ac current so dc current is very difficult to handle also uh, if you take a uh, transmission that is a high voltage dc transmission is also available now uh, but it is very uh, it should be we have to handle it in in a very careful way thank you thanks for watching so in the next class we'll discuss upon uh, the basic laws so basic laws is ohm's laws and kirchhoff's laws so ohm's laws gives the relationship between a uh, voltage current and resistance uh, then in kirchhoff's laws it uh, uh, it gives uh, so we'll continue that in the next class thank you